Hello, this is Hans Velikwas, Senior Lecturer at IG Delft Institute for Water Education. In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate R in QGIS. I'll demonstrate how it works on Windows. We first download R for Windows, and then we use the base installation. And download the latest version. When the wizard of the installer starts, we just keep everything as default by clicking Next. There's a manual page that explains the use of R scripts in the processing toolbox, which we are preparing now. Let's start QGIS and connect R to QGIS so we can use it in the processing toolbox and make our own scripts. In QGIS we need to install a plugin. Search for the processing R provider plugin. And if you click there on home page, you end up on a page which explains this uh, processing R provider plugin and how to install it on different uh, systems. That's what we're going to do to configure it for Windows. Let's first install the processing R provider and click close. Now let's look at the configuration of R in the settings of the processing toolbox. If you've used the default installer for R, all the paths will be okay. If you've changed something, you need to change it here. If you have a 64-bit computer, you check this box. And then you can click OK. To make use of R, I restarted QGIS and expanded the R section here. And when I run test SF on this point data layer that I have, it will install all the necessary packages you might have to do it twice, I had some errors there. And it generated a copy of my uh, table. And what I found out is that uh, the analysis tools of R work better uh, on that copy than on the original data. So I choose here output, and then the field for which I want to calculate the minimum and maximum, and then I run it, and it runs the R tool for that. And there I get the statistics. can also calculate a scatter plot between um, the altitude, for example, and the temperature and see if there is any relation between those. And I run it. And in the results viewer, I can uh, click on the plot. And there we see that uh, there's not much relation in there. These were just some scripts that came with the processing R provider, but fortunately there are ways to add more scripts to the toolbox. And one way is to uh, look at the scripts available in the QGIS resource sharing plugin. So let's install that plugin. It's a plugin that is uh, used to share um, styles, but also uh, scripts. Now we can find a little green button in our toolbar, which opens the resource sharing dialog. And there you can search for R scripts. And there you can find the QGIS R script collection. And click install to add them to your processing toolbox. And then 60 scripts are added. Let's see if we can find them. And there they are in different categories. So that's very useful. Let's try the summary statistics. And I use here the original file. And there you see that it gives uh, an error. But if I go back to parameters and use that uh, copy that was created, then we'll see it works and it gives the uh, output statistics there. And they're all well documented. 
You can also make a frequency table. Let's look at the temperatures in this file. And there it generates a table. And when we look at it in the output viewer, we see here the table. We can also make a histogram. And here we see the result. But when you're going to do more with R in QGIS, you want to add your own scripts. And then you can use this page where the script syntax is explained. These uh, lines with the hashes, they show where, um, where there are interface things with QGIS. And you can look here at examples, to, uh, group where it goes into the name of the tool, that it needs to load a vector uh, layer, uh, and um, some other parameters that the user defines. And then we have the R uh, code lines uh, below those uh, lines with the hashes. You can also simply copy the example and choose create a R script, paste it there, save it, it will be saved in your profile. And then it's added also to the toolbox. Under point pattern analysis, sample random points. You can use a vector layer, that's for the extent. And then the sample size, choose 10 here. When I run it, it will generate 10 random points within the extent of the vector layer that I defined. And there is the result. So you see that this is a very powerful uh, way of using R functionality in uh, QGIS.